Hey guys, I know it's been a long time and I very much appreciate you sticking with me through it. It's been a long few months now and I've finally settled down in my small hometown in South Dakota. Hazel and I are happy you're back and we can't wait to start making videos again. Today, we're gonna to be taking a look at the 36 pan set by Schmenka. Admittedly, this is one of the most expensive things in my studio. I will gladly report though, after a few months of use, that it is one of my most commonly used palettes and I do not regret my purchase. I would, however, give you some different advice if you're thinking about purchasing it. More to come on that later. Now, I know that I have the entire Schmenke line swatched on another video for you, so I will not be providing like in-depth commentary about um, in individual colors in this set, um, but I will be providing kind of my opinion on this set overall. So let's get right into it. I have thoroughly enjoyed this palette. It has more than enough colors to suffice any new or established artist. In this particular curated set, 25 of the paints are composed of only one pigment. I would have liked to see just a few more given the price range it belongs in. I do have to say though, um, I do like one of the convenience colors quite a bit. The olive green is, is super pretty. I do think the range of colors is pretty well balanced. Since I've had this set for a while, I have started to notice, you know, where I use a lot of paint and where I, where I don't, uh, or where the pan is still kind of full. So, although they're really pretty, the yellow and orange family just aren't used in my everyday painting. I do use them for mixes sometimes, but it's not, not super often. I do paint botanicals here and there, so the reds and pinks have been experimented with well. I could maybe see adding one more red, but overall I've, I've been satisfied with the options presented to me in this set. One of my favorites in this entire set is the manganese violet. I used it in a tutorial and I was super satisfied with the look and the feel of it and how it provided or added to my painting. I am swatching these colors today in my etcher sketchbook. I will let you know how I like that um, as I continue to use it and use it for a few more things. I do plan on using it mostly for swatches um, just so everything is consistent and on the same paper. And I hope to do some more swatches like this in the future and hopefully um, fill up some sketchbooks. There are a lot of blue options included, which I could see as a negative if you'd rather them be replaced with other paints. I have been working on my color mixing skills and I do enjoy the greens that are included in this palette, mostly for that reason. Just a couple notes for when I am swatching. I did forget to add the Prussian green in the middle of this set, so that is actually at the end after Ivory Black. And then I did end up dropping my brush on accident somewhere around the Helio Cerulean, Helio Turquoise section. So do forgive me if you see some color that doesn't belong in a swatch. A few months ago, I did decide to expand my Schmincke collection when they had the Schmincke sale at Jackson's. And I have not poured them into pans yet or swatched them out so in the next video i will go ahead and show you guys that i actually filmed that one before this one so you might have seen a few of the swatches at the beginning of this video i hope to have that video up as well pretty soon here if you guys decide to purchase anything from jackson's i do have my affiliate link at the bottom of the video here if you click show more Using that costs nothing extra to you, but does give me a small commission from each purchase that is made under my affiliate link. And that way I can purchase more art supplies to show you guys.
I do also think that great picks were made for the neutral portion of this palette. I could use maybe one more brown in some of my animal paintings or portraits. I was a little bit surprised to see that a black was included, but I, I'm pretty glad it's a single pigment color. I do want to mention, not only for this set, but for Schmincke in general, their Burnt Sienna. Um, it is comprised of PR101 and PBK9, so it is a dual pigment mixture. Daniel Smith's version is just PBR7. I did notice a few paintings ago that my mixes with the Schmincke Burnt Sienna were a little bit muddy, and I was a little bit confused why, and I ended up looking that up. And if you're one to make mixes with Burnt Sienna, I would maybe recommend going for another brand. So here's the deal. I would never purchase this palette as a true beginner. I had certainly spent some time experimenting and learning what I liked to paint before splurging on this particular palette, and I think that has a few benefits. I know what colors I would use most often, and I don't, for a lack of a better word, waste expensive watercolor paint as a beginner watercolorist. Um, if I were to do it again, I would purchase the Schmincke Tin from Jackson's and pick a nice range of 15 to 20 colors or so that I knew would be used well. Unless you have a strong lean towards pans over tubes, I would purchase the tubes so you have enough to fill your pans and a few refills. Then, as I got to know the brand a little bit better, I would consider expanding to some specialty Schmincke colors and some convenience colors. I certainly don't regret my purchase, but I may have gone a little bit different of a direction had I known then what I know now. Thank you guys so much for your continued support. We are almost to 500 subscribers, which I am just appalled by every time I look at it. So thank you and thank you again. If you have not yet, please hit that subscribe button to be notified each time I post a new video. I hope to be posting quite a lot more frequently now that I am settled and diving back into watercolor just a bit. I hope you guys have a safe and happy 4th of July if you're watching from the US and I hope you have a safe and happy weekend if you are watching elsewhere. Make sure to keep an eye out for that next video where I update this palette with a few new Schmincke colors. I will see you in the next one guys. Bye!